Do you have problem with your citrus not producing fruit? If you do, in this video, I'm going to give you a number of reasons why your citrus is not producing fruit for you and how to fix it to get your citrus to bloom. Don't click away. Be right back. Hello happy YouTubers, Marceline here with you. Today I'm going to discuss a number of problems, why your citrus is not producing fruit for you and how to fix the problems to get your citrus to flower and to seed fruit. But before we begin, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Also, always remember to ring the bell to be notified for our next future videos. Alright, let's continue. Now citrus must bloom to produce fruit. If your citrus tree is not flowering for you, this means you won't have fruit to harvest. Now, one of the main problems or reasons why your citrus is not producing fruit, this is probably due to the age of the tree, meaning your citrus is not mature enough to begin to blossom. Try to look at this tree. This is my clamancy. As you can see, the citrus is blooming, is producing fruit. This is showing you that this tree is fully matured. Now, if you are growing citrus starting from seeds, I have citrus here. This is my clemency of ripened lime grown from seed. I have to wait two to three years for this plant to get bigger and then another few years for the clemency to mature. Now, for the citrus tree to reach maturity, it takes four years. So we're talking about seven to ten years before I can harvest fruit from this plant. Now, what is the solution here? Now the solution is that get a fully matured established tree like what you see here if you want to harvest fruit sooner. Now here is a smart way to shop and I always share this because this is what I mostly do. If you shop for citrus, if you go to your local nursery, look for citrus that has flower in it. This way you know your tree will give you fruit. Now if you shop citrus online this can be a problem especially for beginners because you don't see an actual tree and most of the sailors don't give you a full detail of the citrus so you have no idea if your citrus will give flower for you now to solve the problem I would say you need to equip yourself and ask question by the sailors ask like how old is this tree and is it cultivated by seeds or it is grown from grafting or grown from own root like you root from cuttings or from early rearing early rearing this way you can uh, eliminate your worries now the second problem is sunlight now we already know that sunlight is vital for all plants photosynthesis and citrus needs at least eight hours of direct sunlight to photosynthesize if there is not enough sunlight so your citrus doesn't bloom because it is not enough energy to send to the plant to promote flower so give it a lot of sunlight and this is a perfect environment for my citrus that's why my citrus is blooming now if you grow citrus in container and container that i would recommend my my knee is hurting here so the container that i would recommend use crates and also use a smart pot or hydroponics container because it is well prone, a lot of drainage. Like what you see here, I'm going to show you. This is my crate container and my citrus loves it. So this is a perfect environment because it is well prone. The root system doesn't go into root bound because root bound restricts the root from absorbing water and nutrients. So you need to allow the root to develop new roots and make it stronger because the stronger the root the better the absorption so that that will be how to fix the problem if you want your citrus to bloom now if you grow citrus on the ground my recommendation is to dig a hole if you grow in a container if you transfer it in a container make sure that the hole of the container the hole of the ground is the same or larger the size of the container and then maybe dig a hole one foot and then make sure you the soil is loosened or loose how to say that loose <laughs> because you want the root to uh, so you, the root doesn't get stagnant or that can can breathe inside you want that uh, air space and if you have too much clean the soil my my recommendation is to add a lot of organic compost because organic compost tends to break down the the clay 
now let's talk about the next problem the next problem is nutrients so plants is the same as humans we, we like to eat a good amount of nutrients in order for us to feel better and also to live longer so the same as the plants so your plants need a, a good nutrients so for the citrus to to get it going to produce more flowers to produce more fruit you need to give them a proper fertilizer of proper nutrients I use I, I use uh, ironite and also I use citrus stone so feed your citrus with iron stone iron plus and also the uh, citrus stone to get that going and stick with me guys because I'm going to show you how to uh, do this so that is the, the the problem so let's go ahead and water our plants because it's too hot Let's give this citrus a shower. <laughs> Washing off that dirt on the leaves so the so the leaves can breathe. It is best if you place your citrus under water irrigation because you don't have to worry watering all the time. So during hot summer days you have to water your citrus thoroughly because you don't want to dry dry the soil so fast and also if you your citrus is flowering that is also the best time to water to water a lot because it uses a lot of energy all right so we water our plants and the next step that we are going to do is the fertilization. That is another issue that you guys must take uh, take for granted, because uh, nutrients is very important for your citrus to, for the citrus to initiate flowering and producing fruit. It's almost like human. If uh, humans, we need vitamins and other supplements <laughs> so the same as this the citrus so i'm going to add because as you can see a little bit uh, yellowing here you see that yellowing of the leaves this is my calamansi and it needs nutrients especially iron so i'm going to give the citrus another boost of ironites so here is uh, another uh, way of fertilizing your citrus in order for the nutrients to be absorbed by the roots, you have to check the pH first because citrus it prepares acidic soil and it needs 6.5 or 6.8 rinse. And if the pH is not properly corrected, so you would not be able, the citrus would not be able to absorb the iron. So I'm already watering the plants, so what I will need first, the second step is to check the pH. So you always check the pH, guys, if it is grown in the container because it changes uh, all the time because it's different than you grow it in the ground. So I use this digital uh, test meter and this is really nice tool. So I will link this below to check this out. So this is going to test the pH of the citrus. Now when you check your soil pH, make sure you water the plant first so you can get a good reading so you just use this probe and then insert all the way down to the root zone okay so if you can see i check the pH so i the ideal is 5.5 and 6.5 which is ideal for the citrus but right now the reading is 7.0 so this is alkaline so what I'm going to do here I'm going to add an acidifier so I can use fertilizer for a fertilizer for hydrangea or tomato there's also another way that you can correct the pH is to use vinegar but you have to do it more often and I get a, a comment on that asking is there any way beside using vinegar to correct the pits well you can use fertilizer so I'm going to put fertilizer here 
So the soil pH is 7.0. It's not bad, it's acceptable, but you don't want to raise that uh, to 7.5 or 7.6 because it would be too alkaline. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add one half cup of soil acidifier. This is for hydrangea to lower the pH. So you definitely always correct the pH of your plants because it is difficult to constantly checking your citrus, especially if it is grown in the container. So I'm going to add this. So I have this one half cup and I'm going to spread this around the citrus. So this is going to help lower the pH. and just work on onto the soil. You can also keep the pH intact by adding coco peat or soil that has sweet peat. This is going to balance. Now if the soil pH is too high, means it is uh, if your plants is prepared for the alkaline side, then you have to use the lime. Okay, so that's it. That's how to correct the pH. All right, let's water again. So I might have to add Epsom salt to give a magnesium sulfate to this plant because I can see the leaves is a little bit have problem for magnesium deficiency okay so how often do you fertilize your citrus i would say fertilize three times a year so fertilize uh, more that high in nitrogen on the spring because it's in active growth and then fertilize again in the early summer and in the early fall and then stop your fertilization after that because you don't want your citrus to have that fertilizer sitting on the root because during winter time the citrus is less active but if you live in areas where you have no winter then it's okay because you have a continuous or the same temperature okay so another uh, way to boost flowering and I mentioned this in my previous videos that it is not favored by other gardeners is to stress the plant. So by stressing the plant allows the citrus to promote flowering because the plant is trying to compensate the loss of moisture. Plants has 90% water so if you restrict the water the stomata which is the opening of the leaves is going to shut down the operation to keep that moisture loss so it closes and then the plant is okay but it is going to put in stress and then it produces flower. Now another uh, way to initiate blooming is also stressing with the temperature. Now if you live in subtropical region where you have cold winter, place your citrus during winter time in areas where it gets 40 degrees cooler. So this is going to stress the plant and then in the spring your plant will can, will start blossoming. All right. Now let's talk about the use of vinegar. So if I have bid you on no lemons how to why your lemons are producing fruit. I would recommend you guys watch that video. It's a lot of information we put together in that uh, lemon video. So check that out beside uh, in addition to this information all right this is for today folks if you want your citrus to produce flowers and to produce fruit you definitely give your citrus the requirements it needs requirements like proper container if you grow in a container a five gallon container with a lot of drainage and a lot of air circulation is very important because it allows the root systems to absorb water and nutrients properly a root bound container or root bound plant is, is difficult for the root to absorb proper nutrients so your citrus will suffer now give proper amount of watering especially during hot summer days because the soil is media dries out so quickly 
and give your citrus a good amount of nutrients, especially magnesium and phosphorus and nitrogen. Those are the most important uh, uh, number. And also give a lot of sunshine because sunlight promotes flowering. So don't keep your citrus away from, from the sun because sunlight, it gives that uh, chlorophyll production and also chlorophyll helps in the photosynthesis. So if, if the plants can take up a lot of photosynthesis, then it sends that energy to produce more flower. Now, correcting the pH, I would say that this is your probably the number one priority. So put that as your number one most important over the other. So when I corrected the pH, it was like 7.0. It was not bad, it, it was uh, manageable, but you don't want to raise the pH higher number like the point, point, point 7.6 or, or more because this would be too alkaline and if it is too alkaline your citrus needs at least 6.5 and 6.8 so if it is too alkaline it will suffer the citrus so your citrus cannot produce flower or fruits and probably it doesn't grow <laughs> so correct the pH and now how often you correct the pH I would say uh, correct the pH maybe twice a month and it is difficult to manage the pH, especially in the container. I have a difficulty uh, managing the pH. So again, that is the most important, correcting the pH. Now I get these comments uh, from my viewers about the vinegar. The comments was, was there any, uh, was there anything you can use besides vinegars? Because we already know vinegar. We use vinegar because it is a quick fix. It lowers the pH so fast, but you have to apply more often, like three times, before it takes an effect. And you only need one, to one tablespoon, right? One table, one teaspoon, vinegar. You need one tablespoon of vinegar per one gallon of water. One tablespoon per gallon. Oh yes, one tablespoon per gallon of water, and then it will correct the pH. So there is other way you can use a uh, soil adhesifier. I use fertilizer for hydrangeas or I also use uh, fertilizer for blueberries because they are acid loving plants. And then you can also add compost because compost also help balancing the pH. Not only correcting the pH, the, the compost also once it breaks down, it gives nutrients to the plants and also it insulates the soil from losing too much moisture. Is there any anything you can add to it? <laughs> so I hope I, I give you all the materials uh, that you need here. And if I miss anything, you just write your comments. And if you have any questions, write your comments also. And thank you for watching, guys. And if you need citrus that is, that is flowering, then check the, check the link below. And if you want fertilizer or any products that I mentioned here, check the, check the link and get from there. So this is Marceline at CashewGreens.com. Grow green and grew big a piece Let it go.